What's up everybody, I Cameron I here, coming back with some more Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks on the latest information for GTA Online. So in today's video, I'm going to go in a quick rundown of everything that came in the brand new patch 1.15 for GTA Online. But guys, before we get straight into the video, I want to quickly remind you that I'm doing a giveaway on my channel, either giving away a PlayStation Network card or an Xbox Live card. Only way to win is to comment down below, tell me what card you want, and don't forget to click the like button, and then you're entered in the giveaway while I'll be announcing it on my Twitter page. Let's get straight into the information. Not only did we get two new brand new vehicles in GT Online, the Liberator, which is pretty much a monster truck, and a brand new motorcycle, all American Independence Day themed. Not only did we get that, we got over 40 new Independence Day holidays holiday themed clothing items including outfits have been added to your clothing stores for both female and male characters for GTA Online. Two new weapons have been added to the ammunition store, firework launcher and the brand new musket which some people are saying a little overpowered because of its range and one shot one kill but I think it's balanced because how long that reload time is and of course we got four types of fireworks can be purchased from ammunition they each come in three colors red white and blue of course came into that Independence Day theme. A new parachute smoke color has been added to the ammunition that rotates between red, white, and blue. So there's a lot of new features that are coming with this Independence Day update, but unfortunately, these are limited time offer. Keeping in with the theme with the red, white, and blue colors, you can also add new tire smokes from Los Santos Customs, where it rotates your colors while you're doing a burnout. 12 new animal masks have been added, including the new eagle that everybody wanted that was all over Reddit. Four new horns have been added to the mod shop. A new mullet hairstyle have been added to both male and female character, and the star and stripes face paint has been added to the haircut salon. Some new features have been added to GT Online such as setting off fireworks in the background which can be used in the interactive menu so hold down select or back if you're on Xbox 360 and select the fireworks. New favorite feature has to be on call mode which has been added to quick job. Basically you can sign up for a job instead of waiting in the lobby forever for everybody to join. You can still play free roam while the game is being loaded and once it maxes out the game starts and you get pulled out of free roam into the job. So those were all the major things that came in the new patch 1.15 in the Grand Theft Auto Online. If you want the full details, be sure to check out the link in the description. Personally, I really enjoyed all the brand new features that came in this patch, and I'm really enjoying the new ones that are coming in the future. It'll fix a lot of problems such as cars disappearing, but let me know what other problems would you like to be fixed for Grand Theft Auto Online. So hopefully every one of you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did be sure to support me by clicking that like button, if you're new to the channel be sure to click the subscribe button to join the Saiyan Army where I put top notch Grand Theft Auto 5 daily gameplay and information and news on the fly. And hey guys, don't forget, if you want to enter in the giveaway where I'm giving away a PlayStation Network or Xbox Live card, be sure to like the video, comment letting me know which card you want, and I'll be announcing it on my Twitter page. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace everyone.